Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ancient's Place. I'm very excited to get this art prints, this new art. Actually, they're not new anymore. Uh, they're basically been sitting in my collection room for like two or three weeks now. I think the oldest one, which is almost a month, I think, is this Lasso of Truth. And basically the new ones is the Killing Joke, Joker and also the Magneto. So again, very excited to showcase to you guys these art prints. So let's get them out of the tube. <clears throat> so the first one is the Lasso of Truth. Um, by the way, this uh, art prints right here, they are all, I got them all from Sideshow. Uh, this Lasso of Truth, I think this is from Olivia Ber Bernardinis. Bernardinis. I hope I pronounce her name properly. I hope she won't kill me. But I know that she does a lot of beautiful stuff. Um, like, especially the Wonder Woman. I think the Wonder Woman uh, that she made, most of it really sell out um, so she does a really good painting and that's why I get this because I didn't have a Wonder Woman like the Gal Gadot one so let's try to get this out so like that um, good so it is actually pretty beautiful like really she looks very very beautiful let, let, let me show you guys um, uh, I don't know anyway I have close-ups uh, when for this piece and basically um, I will show you guys how much the edition size this unfortunately the edition size for this one is quite big um, but nonetheless, actually the, the print is quite beautiful, like really beautiful. I'm surprised. So this piece by uh, Olivia Bernardinis looks so gorgeous. <laughs> um, honestly, she looks so gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, that's Gal Gadot. Let me try to make it more clear. Very beautiful, um, very, very vibrant as well, the colors there. Um, I do wish the background is not too blue. Um, maybe a bit darker though, but I love how it turned out this um, lasso of truth. Look at that. It looks so awesome. Uh, let me try to move a bit further. Look at that. So this is actually... Uh, uh, again, Olivia Berdines and with an edition size of 600. That's quite big, unfortunately. Um, I don't think there was a canvas a canvas for this one. This is actually a bit longer. I think this is 18 by 26. If I remember it correctly. Um, I wanted to buy the, the framed ones, but what I didn't like about the frame was I hope my camera won't shake too much is that they, the 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 cardboard reached this part and I really didn't look like it I wish the car there's that there's still like a gap for the cardboard for the borders like this one Like what they have in their prints. So I preferred like that and that's why I didn't get the the frame ones but because I really like this to be honest uh, when I saw this I said okay I need a Wonder Woman a Gal Gadot Wonder Woman and this actually fit that <laughs> craving and look at the details here this is her painting I do wish that she has some canvas for this ones I think the canvas that she did for her other masterpieces was quite big the, the deluxe one with the, those diamonds or something uh, but I didn't like those I just want a canvas version of this one so Madame Olivia if you're seeing this this is very gorgeous I love it I hope you can make a canvas version of this one because look at the the hair strands how she did it look at that very artistic at the same time somehow like 
fine details there look at that very beautiful that's why other than the the likeness of Gal Gadot there like that one still looks awesome so this is Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth by Olivia Verdinus from Sideshow Collectibles so the next one we're gonna open is the Sideshow Magneto so let me try to open this where where is it this one well, very very tedious to open this because a lot of stickers and everything get the art print out so again do be careful because this might fold this is what this is the bad thing about this um, let's say plastics because there's a very very big tendency that it would fold see so this is quite messy <laughs> sorry about that uh, okay I think I finally get a hand on it then let's try to flatten this Wow, this Magneto looks so good. <laughs> wow, this turned out really good. Um, this is very good. Uh, wow. I think this is from Pablo Oliveira. Or I, I forgot his... No, Arosena. Um, I think so. But this one looks awesome. Like very, very beautiful. I'm gonna give you anyway close-ups. So yeah, uh, it, it works. I, I, the, he has a um, uh, another piece, but that one for me didn't quite work. I think it was the uh, Captain Marvel, but this one worked so well. It looks so awesome. Like wow, it, it looks so good. To be honest, it, I'm really surprised that it looks really good. So this is actually from Orlando Arucena. I hope the uh, signature can be seen there that is actually quite awesome and the edition size is 350 still quite okay not super okay but still okay and actually this is for me very surprising because the photos in the sideshow website does not absolutely do justice for this piece because in actual it actually looks awesome so when I say this, this works because I think there was another piece by Orlando Arosena. With again, I, I think it was the Captain Marvel or a, the Thanos. This one kind of works because, as you can see, this um, I don't know what they're called, but it it feels like there. This is his style, and for Magneto, it feels like this is a magnetic field, and it looks so awesome for him. I mean, it, at least in the sprint. Um, in the Magneto, I mean, sorry, in Thanos, it wasn't that good, but this one looks pretty awesome. And like I said, it works so well. Look at that. It's like he is like having the, how was a magnetic field around him and it looks so awesome. And actually the, the details, if I go closer, look at that. Look how awesome this is. Look at this thing. It feels like there's really like a magnetic field there. Look at that. And what I just love is the red. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of biased because red is also like one of my favorite colors, but the red looks so awesome. And the combination of the colors works pretty well. Look at that. Let me try to move a bit further. Look at this one. It looks so awesome to be honest. And it has this painting kind of feel, but at the same time, like an added digital um, aspects. Like again, this magnetic feel, the, this race, like this one. This race, I really don't understand, but it gives color to it. For me, it's not necessary, but the magnetic field effect, that looks pretty awesome. Look at that. So the last one of the bunch is the Killing Joke Joker. 
Um, art print by uh, Ben Oliver. Um, yeah, I think so, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. I'm actually very excited to, <laughs> to open this, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, let's see. There you go. And there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Wow. It's actually quite good, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm always impressed by Ben Oliver's art, to be honest. And for me, uh, I think I have some of his artworks uh, from Sideshow, uh, like this one, like the Wolverine, uh, Black Widow. The, I think what I, I love is the Wolverine Hulk, that one. I think that was a cover as well. But this one, this is also quite amazing. I would say I like the Magneto better, for sure. That one is surprisingly good, but okay, anyway, let's check it out, deep dive on how good this piece is, uh, and some other info as well. So this is the Killing Joke by Ben Oliver. So he actually, I hope you can see his signature uh, right there. I hope it's, it's, it shows in the camera. And the uh, edition size, which is a bit disappointing, is 600. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, this, this uh, cover is actually quite popular because the book is quite popular as well. So that's why the edition size is quite big but again the details of this one what ben oliver has added is pretty spectacular look at that look at the teeth that looks so amazing the details in his face look at those his eyes the wrinkles um i, I really love the to be honest i kind of love the the gloves it has this kind of detail uh, I mean this part, the gloves and uh, the hands and I mean and also the how he holds the camera that looks pretty nice, really beautiful and I think there's some details here as well look at that looks awesome as well um, it seems like the, he's going for like a, like a photo itself because actually I'm not sure if it captures in the camera um, in this part of the of the portrait, it's somehow like um, blurred or something, like a bo having a bokeh, but his face is very sharp. Actually, the, what is very sharp, is, or the sharpest part, is actually the camera. And it seems like the focus um, of, like he's also been taken like as, as a picture. That's quite amazing. Um, I really love that. I like those kind of touch, makes it more realistic, which I think he is going for regarding this piece. Look at that. It looks really good, actually. Um, I didn't opt for the, the frame because I feel this is not the Joker art print and I already have a Joker um, art print that has a frame as well, which is from Gabe, Gabriel Del Otto. So there you go, these are my new art prints. My favorite would be this Magneto. This one, look at that. And actually, I would say I already know that she would look so gorgeous. Um, look at this one, I hope you can see. Look at that. She actually looks so gorgeous, expected. But for me right now, what was very surprising was the Magneto. Look at this one, very awesome. Also quite amazing is the, the Killing Joke. That's pretty awesome as well, but okay. Anyway, all of them were amazing. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video and also if you can share it to everyone, try to share it my video as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, you will definitely help my channel grow. So thank you for watching and stay tuned here in Inchin's Place.